Hi everyone, I'm Jessica and welcome to the 80s Emporium, your <laughs> home for everything 80s. The holiday season is here and that means it's time for chimney sweeping and cookie baking because you know who is coming to town. No, sorry, not that you know who. We're talking about the iconic mascot of the holiday season, Kris Kringle, AKA Saint Nick, AKA Father Christmas, AKA no, that wasn't your father in a costume, Jessica. AKA Santa Claus. What a guy. Excellent. Appearances by Santa Claus in the movies are just about as old as the film industry itself. Santa Claus is the second most popular movie character ever, with 814 appearances in film. That's more than Sherlock Holmes, Hamlet, and even Jesus Christ combined. Can you guess who's number one? We'll tell you later in this video. Big surprise! Now while we love disgruntled mall Santas, drunk investor Santas, and serial killer Santas, today we're only talking about 80s movies that feature the real Santa Claus. In the 80s, Pac-Man was all the rage, and it spawned an animated TV series that ran for 44 episodes. One of its two TV specials was Christmas Comes to Pac-Land. In the half-hour special, the ghost monsters scare Santa's reindeer, causing his sleigh to crash. Being the good spheres they are, Pac-Man and his family attempt to help Santa return to the skies, all while avoiding the troublesome ghosts. How does Santa get his flight back? That's easy. What you need is a warm fire and some power pellet cocoa. Amazing Stories was the name of a TV anthology series created by Steven Spielberg in the mid 80s. Among these episodes was one called Santa 85, in which old Saint Nick trips a burglar alarm and finds himself in jail. Where is your holiday spirit? Well, it's right up there with armed robbery, vagrancy, and drunk driving. And it's up to an eight-year-old boy to try and save Christmas. Santa is played by classical British actor Douglas Seal, who played Count Arco in Amadeus and the Sultan in Aladdin. Ernest Saves Christmas stars Jim Varney as his iconic character, Ernest P. Worrell. Ernest had his origin in TV commercials, but due to their popularity, Varney reprised the role in a TV show and a series of movies, including this one. Ernest Saves Christmas features Ernest as a cab driver who helps Santa Claus in finding a replacement. The retiring Santa Claus is once again played by Douglas Seal. The movie was the first major feature filmed in Orlando, Florida, and much of that took place at MGM Studios, which is now Disney's Hollywood Studios. Though largely bashed by critics, Ernest Saves Christmas was a box office success. If you want to support our channel, the best way to do that is to head over to 80semporium.com and buy some of our awesome 80s merch. Oh, look how cute they are. Another popular comic character in the 80s was Paul Rubin's Pee Wee Herman. An hour-long Christmas special featured a plethora of stars, including Oprah Winfrey, Joan Rivers, Magic Johnson, Cher, and of course, Santa Claus. In the special, Santa brings Pee Wee all the presents he asked for, but requests that instead... What more do you want, Santa? Your help in delivering these presents to the children of the world. Thank you, Santa! You're the best Santa there is! <laughs> Santa Claus is usually an agreeable fellow, but when an oil company starts drilling in the North Pole, that's where he draws the line. That's the situation in The Night They Saved Christmas. Legendary Oscar winner Art Carney plays Saint Nick, who tries to appeal to the wife and kids of an oil magnet and convince them to drill elsewhere. To create the appearance of the North Pole, the special was filmed in Alaska. By the way, if you haven't seen our episode on our favorite Christmas movies of the 80s, be sure to check that out on our channel as well. The most critically acclaimed film on our list is The Snowman, a 26-minute animated short that was nominated for an Academy Award. Based on the book by Raymond Briggs, the film centers around the adventures of a boy and his snowman who comes to life. Along their journey, they encounter Father Christmas, who offers them some presents. After its Oscar hype, American TV networks became interested in airing it, but felt there needed to be a celebrity introduction. The unlikely choice, David Bowie. Do you know how to say, yo? Yo? Next up is Santa Claus the Movie. This time, the big guy was played by the Big Lebowski himself, David Huddleston. In the film, Santa butts heads with the executive of a toy company set on putting Mr. C out of business. Caught in the middle is Patch, an eager yet oblivious elf played by Dudley Moore. While the film mostly centers around John Lithgow's evil crusade against Santa Claus, it does begin with an origin story for the mythical red-cloaked figure. We've been expecting you. Expecting us? 
The film was poorly reviewed, with many upset at its blatant product placement for notable brands. Here's a blast from the past. The animated children's show The Glow Friends revolved around the inhabitants of Glow World, which included glow-in-the-dark worms, snails, and insects. Unlike other holiday specials, The Glow Friends Save Christmas actually came out before the series debuted. In the half-hour episode, Santa Claus is kidnapped by the Wicked Witch of the North Pole, who apparently exists. Whenever people think of the North Pole, they think of Santa Claus, right? I guess so. Well, the Wicked Witch of the North Pole deserves to be famous, too. But lucky for us, the Glow Friends, well, they save Christmas. It's in the title. If you want to give your friends an affordable and unique holiday gift, check out film producer Stu Pollard on Cameo. All the money goes to the charitable efforts of Trunacy. Disney entered the Santa Claus conglomerate with One Magic Christmas, which centers around an angel played by Harry Dean Stanton, who must help Mary Steenburgen remember the true meaning of Christmas. Jan Roobs of Witness fame portrays Saint Nicholas, who uses angels instead of elves in his workshop. I wonder if kids would enjoy their toys as much if they knew they were made by dead people. They don't know they're dead. Many Americans are familiar with the stop-motion Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer TV special from 1964. Well, creators Jules Bass and Arthur Rankin Jr. actually made a total of 18 stop-motion animation TV specials, with their final project of this nature being the life and adventures of Santa Claus. The bizarre and, frankly, creepy hour-long special was based on a book by L. Frank Baum, who is most famous as the creator of The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. The story begins with Santa Claus near death, with his fate in the hands of a council of immortals, who must decide whether or not to grant Saint Nick immortality. We then learn how Santa came to be the joy-granting, gift-giving, reindeer-riding icon he is today. Hint, it has to do with magical lions, demons, and death personified. If you're enjoying this video, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Babes in Toyland began as an operetta in 1903 and has spawned a multitude of adaptations, including a 1934 Laurel and Hardy film, a 1961 Disney movie, and a 1986 TV movie. This musical version starred a young Keanu Reeves and child actor Drew Barrymore. In Toyland, she meets the toy maker, played by Pat Morita, who you may recognize as Mr. Miyagi from the Karate Kid films. And here's a spoiler that's really not much of a spoiler. But I have to say goodbye to the toy master. <laughs> well, we should have a nice trip, Lisa, if you don't mind a few bumps. Do you have a favorite Santa Claus movie from the 80s? Did any of these traumatize you as a kid? Which 80s Christmas movie will you be watching this holiday season? Let us know in the comments. And were you able to guess the only character to appear in more films than Santa Claus? I'm sorry to say, it's the devil. <laughs> and just like the devil, Hamlet and Sherlock Holmes, it's safe to say that Santa Claus will be gracing our screen for decades and perhaps centuries to come. Again, follow us on social media. We post fun throwback trivia and more. Just search for at 80s Emporium. Enjoy your holiday season and be good, for goodness sake. I'm going to tell you one more time, sing anything you want, White Christmas, Frosty the Snowman, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, but no more Jingle Bells!